What is going on, you guys? Martin Ducky bringing you guys another episode of the St. Louis Blues GM Mode. Welcome to the first round of the playoffs. We have the Colorado Avalanche. And now, I do know a way to see the team's lines now. I actually seen 2BC show them. So, I know how to view the lines now. So, I'll just show you their team. Oh, we got the terrible glitch right off the back. Give me one second. All right, guys. That, that's really aggravating. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and hold the team meet in here. All right, here we go. Team meeting. Here we go. Okay, boys, we won the President's Trophy this year, and truth be told, I won't be happy unless we win the only trophy that matters. Uh, no, I don't know. That's a little harsh. This is a great accomplishment. Cherish this moment, boys. Be proud. Uh, I guess that'd be a good one. This trophy don't mean anything if we choke in the playoffs. Don't let up for one minute. I sort of like that one, but nah. Uh, this is the start of some great momentum. When we add the Stanley, when we add the Stanley Cup to our collection, it's going to be epic. Let's go with the second one. This is a great accomplishment. Cherish this moment, boys. Be proud. Wow, I'm glad I went with the second one. Every almost everyone that matters on the team, everybody matters on the team, but a lot of people who are really important in morale. That's great. Who is the leader in the locker room right now? Just wondering. David Backett is. See, we can't get rid of David Backett. He's the leader. It's just going to come down to how much he actually wants. And then Brian Elliott. Really? I'm surprised on that one. Tarasenko is not up there. Wow. That's interesting. That is really interesting. So let's go ahead and view their team. So we hit play game. We ready up. And we go to edit lines. Start in lineups. No, we go to edit lines. Let's okay. So on our team, obviously we are Alexander Steen, David Backett, and Terry Sango first line. Patrick Berglund, Paul Stasny, and Jaden Swartz second line. Third line we have Scotty Upshaw, Yori Laterra, and Troy Brower. And then on the fourth line, Ryan Reeves, Kyle Boziak, and Steve Ott. We have a pretty deep offense, in my opinion. On defense, we have Alex Pertangelo and Ken Shatt Kevin Shattenkirk. I don't know why I keep calling him Ken. We have uh, Colton Perio. We have Jay Bolmeister. We have Carl Gunner Gunnarsson and Robert Bertuzzo. And then, of course, in net, we are going to have Jake Allen and Brian Elliott. So, options, view opponents. Here we go. So, obviously, in net, they have Verlomov. Be careful. He's a, he's a sniper as well. He got that one goalie goal, as you guys seen last episode. And Rio Bear. So let's go to their lineup. All right, offense. First line. This is a scary first line. Gabriel Landeskoff, Matt Duchesne, and now Daniel Sedin. That is a scary first line right there. Two playmakers and a power forward. So there's really no snipers, but I do know Matt Duchesne can put the puck in the net. Did he have? Okay, we can't see that. Anyway, second line, Iggy, Nathan McKinnon, and Alex Tangay. Then on the third line, Mikhail Gigarenko, Carl Soderberg, and Blake Como. Then the third line, Jack Skinny, Jack Skilly, John Mitchell, and Corey, Cody McLeod. I say we got the offense beat. That's I believe we have their offense beat without a doubt. And then defense. Oh yeah, we definitely have their de ah, defense. Yeah, we got their defense beat. Eric Johnson, Tyson Berry, Nick Holden. And Francois Boschman, and then Brendan Gormy, and Nikita Zebarov. So they have a pretty good defense. I mean, they have a pretty good offense. Their defense is good too, but I believe we have them beat because we got two 90s and 87. And the bottom lines look exactly like that. So I believe we have them beat pretty well. So it should be an interesting playoff, without a doubt. I say we got we have the edge on yeah, see we can see here their offense is ninety one, defense ninety one, goal ten to ninety. Of course they have us beat in the net, but I believe Jake Allen can hold us down pretty good. Ninety two, ninety two, eighty eight. Cause Jake Allen's stats were really good. So let's go ahead and slow sim the game. Here we go. Game one of hopefully four against Colorado Avalanche. Here we go. We have home ice advantage. First period. Gormy and Scotty Upshaw get one. So we're getting some depth scoring right off the back here. Second period. Matthew Shane and Vladimir Tarasenko. So it goes from our depth scoring to the big guns. Well, let's hope our big guns shoot faster. 
So let's go. I'm looking for Vladimir. Ooh, big power play. Kill it off. Good penalty kill, guys. Here we go. Come on, Vladimir Tarasenko. Get another one. Or come on, David Back. It's get one. You're the captain of the team. I want to give us a reason to re-sign you next year. You're in your contract here. Come on, guys. We got to win game one. Come on. We're going to OT, guys. Here we go in OT. Come on, Vladimir Tarasenko. Jaden Swartz. Oh, power play, power play. Oh, come on, guys. You got to score off of that. Without a doubt, you have to score on the power play. Come on, guys. Come on, Vladimir Tarasenko. Alex Patangelo. Shattenkirk. Somebody. Wow. Double overtime in game one. Not any team wants to give up an inch. David Baggett gets one right into the second overtime. That's what I'm talking about. I called out his name earlier, and he just made me wait. Two points for both first liners and Jer Jake Allen with 37 saves in the night. All right, guys. So we took game one, three to two in double overtime. So without a doubt, this is going to be a really, really close game. Hopefully they lost maybe match chain or something like that or not really I actually would like a fair win here. Here we go game two back in st. Louis. Here we go first period Iggy and Shattenkirk get one second period Blake Como and Tyson Berry. We're down by two goals. Come on guys. We have to come back Come on Vladimir Tarasenko get some big goals big kill. Oh Gabriel Landeskov gets one that sucks we are down 4-1, guys. No, kill it off, kill it off. Matthew Shane gets one. Who's taking these penalties? Who is taking these penalties? Whoever's taking these penalties needs to just sit on the bench the next game. That's horrible. That's two power play goals, guys. We can't give up penalties. Come on. Who, who took those penalties? Who took the penalties? Steve, okay, so yeah, our, our pretty much our fourth and third line took those penalties. We got to stay out the box, guys. That's horrible. We can't do that. We could not get Tarasenko going either. That's a big problem. That's fine. The game's tied at one. We, we will take that without a doubt. The game can be tied at one. All right, guys, we have to win this game. We don't want to go down. So let's get a team meeting going. I believe we can have a team meeting. Can we... No. Okay, I thought you were able to hold team meetings like every game in the playoffs, but apparently not. That'd be a great feature to add for NHL 17. So let's go ahead and do this. Jumping into a game. Here we go. Matt Duchesne versus Paul Stadis in the face-off circle. First period. Kyle Boziak gets one second period. David Baggett gets one. That's right. So they held us to one goal. Let's hold them to no goals. Here we go. Come on. We're killing them in the shot department. Alex Pertangelo gets another one. Come on, big kill. There we go, guys. We should win this game. If they come back, then we're horrible. Come on, power play. No, we got to start scoring more power play goals. Yuri Laterra gets one. That's what I'm talking about. David Backett gets one. That's right. They beat us 4-1 last game. We're going to completely pound their goalie with shots on net. David Backett is showing up this playoffs, guys. Two goals. Two goals. And then Jake Allen with the shutout. That's what I'm talking about, guys, right there. That's what I'm talking about. We have the upper hand now after that beating. They beat us 5-1. We held them to no goals. That's what I'm talking about. Here we go. We got the Colorado Avalanche in game four. Here we go. We can take a 3-1 lead. We really need to do that. Here we go. First period. We're in Colorado, guys. Come on. I know it's hard to play in the Pepsi Center, but we got this. Second period. Yuri Laterra gets another one. That's what I'm talking about. Yuri Laterra and David Backett have really been showing up. Oh, Iggy. Iggy, no. Matt Duchesne, no. Come on, guys. Just Alexander Steen ties it up. The guy we were considering trading. We're not going to trade him now. Alexander, sorry if you guys hear my dog barking in the background, by the way. We're not going to trade Alexander Steen. Without a doubt, he's a playoff performer. Him and David Backett's, we're going to OT again. Multiple games in OT. Come on, guys. Here we go. Second game in OT. Jaden Swartz gets one off the second line. Let's go. Our whole team is performing, guys. Jake Allen with another big night to hold us in this. He's a Vezina Trophy winner for sure. Here we go. Game five. Oh, we got the scouting report first. Let's scout. 
WHL for four words for three weeks. Leave us alone. Okay. That's good. Okay. So we took game one, we lost game two, but then we won two in a row. We can put, we can send the Colorado Avalanche home right now. We're in St. Louis, guys. This is the place to do it. Here we go. First period, 0-0. Zero, zero. Second period, Matt Duchesne, Matt Duchesne, and Patty Berglund. Come on, that's it. They get their good guns going. Where's Vladimir Tarasenko at? I have not seen him score in the past few games. We need to get him going, guys. If we need to win the cup, we need Vladimir Tarasenko to get going. Come on. Vladdy, come on. Don't let them don't let them get this momentum, guys. Come on. We have to win. Come on, five on four. No, you have to score. Jaden Swartz. The dude is clutch. The dude is clutch for Jaden Swartz. Come on. OT Gabriel Landis God gets one. Come on. We have to put more pucks in the net. That was just a bad game. Verlomov did not. He knew he was facing elimination, so he held the team on his back right there. All right, guys. We cannot let them force a game seven. We were President's Trophy winners here. We cannot force a game seven. All right. We got some morale meetings. Steve Ott. Extra ice time. I've been getting is really allowing me to play my best. That's great. Great. We found a good balance. It seems to work. Positive effect. That's awesome. All right. Come on. We need to we need to get this going. Colorado Avalanche. We need to win this game. We need to put them home. Send them. We're already in their house. Make the fans cry. Let's do this. First period. Oh, my God. Six goals in the first period. I said Tarasenko wants, wants to... Blah, blah, blah. I said Tarasenko needs to wake up. So he gets a pair of goals. Six to nothing in the first period. Are you kidding me? This team is awesome. Kyle Bozniak, Pertangelo, Tarasenko for pair, Ryan Reeves, and Patrick Berglund. That's every line. And one defensive line got a goal. No, no one from the second line got a goal. Yeah, Patty Berglund got a goal. Patrick Berglund on the second line. Tarasenko on the first line. Reeves on the fourth line. Bozniak on the third line. That's every line has a goal, guys. No, Ber uh, Bozniak's on the fourth line as well. So I got too excited there. Does it, six to nothing. We won the playoffs. We won the first round without a doubt. Second period. Yeah, okay. We won... If we avoid an absolute collapse, we won this. David Backett gets another one. 7 nothing. The fans have already left. The complete stadium is empty besides the few St. Louis fans left cheering the team on. Here we go. Come on, St. Louis. Send home the Colorado Avalanche. That's right. We've done this. They're not going to score seven goals. Three, two. Iggy breaks the shutout. He breaks Jake Allen's shutout. Unbelievable. Seven to one. Vladimir Tarasenko with four points. I said he needs to perform. He does just that. He earns the seven million. He gets paid every year. Vladimir Tarasenko, what a beast. That's what I'm talking about, guys. That first round was absolutely devastating for the Colorado Avalanche. They got the momentum going into that game, and then they just get scored six goals, get scored against them in the first period. Just heartbroken fans are just walking out of the stadium. Completely heartbroken that their team was not able to win. That's right, guys. We are the team. We will win the cup year one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Press that like button down below if you did. Comment any ideas. Welcome to the Vladimir Tarasenko Show. And I'll see you guys in round number two.